All of the nearly 50 Venezuelan migrants have left the joint base in Cape Cod after being flown to Martha's Vineyard by Florida's Republican Governor Ron DeSantis. In New York City, shelters are inundated, becoming more and more packed each day as buses of migrants unload into the city. Their mayor is declaring a state of emergency. In Texas's Republican Governor Greg Abbott has spent $18 million of taxpayer money to bus migrants out of that state. He's threatening to continue sending migrants to sanctuary cities across the nation. Right now, Denver is not aware of that happening here, but officials say they are preparing just in case it does. Nine News reporter Luis De Leon tells us what some of the effort could look like. A spokesperson for Denver's Office of Emergency Management says they're working with other city agencies, the state and nonprofits to prepare for any potential influx of migrants coming to Denver to seek asylum. As of right now, they're not aware of such an influx that could happen, but are preparing just in case. It comes as Republican officials in Texas and Florida send migrants out of their own state and shelters in places like New York City fill up. But Colorado is not new to opening their services in response to a situation like this. We work to ensure that people who are impacted by conflict and disaster find safety and are able to rebuild their lives. Jennifer Wilson is executive director of the International Rescue Committee's Denver branch. Right now, she says her branch has a caseload of about 2,500 people. 800 of them recently resettled from Afghanistan, around 50 from Ukraine. She says they've been watching what's happening across the country and are aware of the preparations locally. But then further down the line, when people are seeking services, often we're at the table to help ensure that we're providing those those wraparound supports um, where we're able to. Those wraparound supports she's talking about are things like legal help or case management. And so we are really looking to ensure that However we respond, we are building on the strengths and bringing something that can add value to, to that picture because coordination is really the most critical thing. And out in the mountains, our team reported last month that leaders in uh, Eagle, Summit, Pitkin counties all started similar discussions for how to prepare if a group of migrants unexpectedly ended up in any of those ski resort towns, places like Breckenridge, Aspen, or Vail. Alex, uh, while Colorado's U.S. Democratic Senator uh, John Hickenlooper's office does not have any knowledge about such an occurrence, they uh, did offer some help to those particular counties just in case. Well, after it was such a chaotic situation in Martha's Vineyard last month, it's good that there's some preparation being made, like we said, if this did indeed happen here. Right, and the one issue facing them right now is that along with IRC, another resettlement agency did tell me today that they are a bit stretched for demand right now because they've been handling so many families coming over from Afghanistan and Ukraine. Yep, more than just Venezuela for sure. All right, Luis, thanks for staying on top of this.